Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and in today's video, I want to show you pretty much every Apple product that I currently own. And we're starting off in the studio, then we're going to move to the editing room. Now, I will mention at this early stage in the video that there is an extended length version available for patrons. If you do want to view that extended length version video, then please do check out the link in the video description. So first of all, I want to show you this, not exactly an Apple product, but something I get a lot of questions about. This is my canvas of Steve Jobs, and it's not something I bought complete. Now, so many of you asked, where did I get it? Well, it's an image from DeviantArt that I purchased, and then I made some slight alterations to it. I just ran a couple of filters on the image, and then I got it printed onto this canvas from a company called Snap Mad. So moving over to my desk area over here, you can see three Apple products. Now two of them I use on a daily basis. This one here I don't. I currently uh, use this for comparisons and the rest of the week my wife uses it on occasion as well. This is the very first generation Apple iPad. Black version as you can see and if I turn it over we've got the Apple logo on the back and you can see it's the 16 gigabyte version and the 30 pin dot connector on the bottom, speaker just down here, very, very nice condition. The reason it's in such good condition is it's always been in a case and from day one, it has always had a screen protector on. So very, very nice quality. And even by today's standards, it still performs absolutely fine. No issues with it at all. So moving across, this is my daily use iPad. This is my iPad Air, 64 gigabyte version. Very, very nice device. I use this every morning for checking emails and my social feeds, watch the occasional YouTube video in the morning as well, and then come the evening, I also use it for YouTube videos. And again, if I just show you the back, you'll see it is in really nice condition. Absolutely love it, very, very light, and just a great device, absolutely awesome device. More for consumption rather than creation, so although you can create videos on it and other things, and you can obviously use pages on it and numbers, I do that on occasion, but I still prefer to use a laptop when I'm creating, or of course a desktop, but a lovely, lovely device. And then over here, we have got my iPhone 5S. Again, white version, very, very nice. It's currently in this case. Now again, not an Apple product, but I get a lot of people asking what my current favorite case is, and this is the case mate acetate, really nice case. But back to the hardware, the iPhone 5S, is amazing pocket computer of course not just a smartphone you can record videos on here edit videos edit documents deal with email social networking so much more than just a mobile phone now I have got another couple of Apple products in the studio but rather than move them and show you them all fancy I want to show you them in situ so you can see what they look like with all the wires hanging out the back and this is the latest version of the Airport Extreme this serves up my wireless internet in the studio area and also has some devices hardwired to it that sit on my AV stand. And then over here, just tucked under the right hand corner of the television is the Apple TV. This is used for streaming and also for renting movies from the iTunes store. And then this is the very elegant remote control that accompanies the Apple TV. Now this area here is where all of my networking devices live and my NAS drives. And I've also got the Apple Time Capsule, again the latest version. And this is very similar to the Airport Extreme. It serves up a separate wireless network near the editing room. And it also has a two terabyte hard drive in there. So I can back up wirelessly from my MacBook Pro. So we are now in the editing room and over here is an Apple Thunderbolt display. Very, very good display, 27 inches, nice resolution as well, 2560 by 1440. And underneath here, we have got a Mac Mini. Now I don't use this very often, I mainly use it for testing. As you can see, it's running the beta version of Mac OS X Yosemite. And I use it for video editing from time to time, or if there's lots of videos to edit, sometimes there's two people editing at the same time. Now moving across, this is my MacBook Pro. This is the 15.4 inch Retina version. Very, very nice computer. Again, I use this mainly for communications, but on occasion when I'm perhaps traveling or away, then I will use this for editing videos as well. And then just underneath here, we have got an Apple wireless keyboard. And then if we move across to this area, we've got another 
Apple Thunderbolt display. It's in a dual screen setup with the LG widescreen monitor that I use, or ultra widescreen monitor, and that in turn is connected to my late 2013 Apple Mac Pro. Now, as with the studio, I don't want to show you it all tidy. I want to show you what it looks like with all of the cables connected because it gives you a good idea of what it'll look like if you purchase one. And yes, the cabling is messy. As you can see, it's sitting underneath my desk on a little white cupboard. All of the wires coming out to it connect to various hard drives. And yeah, it looks a mess. This is cable spaghetti junction underneath my desk. But this particular one, is the six core version. It's got 32 gigabytes of RAM, it's got 512 gigabytes of flash storage, and it is a great performer. Now moving back to the top of the desk, we've got the Apple Magic trackpad. I do have a Magic Mouse as well, and that lives in the little drawer under there. Don't use an Apple keyboard, I use this Logitech keyboard, the K750 Solar Wireless keyboard. The same over on this desk here with the Mac Mini, I use the same keyboard, albeit in a different color. And then the last two Apple products I want to show you are older. They are very, very retro. And I don't actually use these on a daily basis, but I just wanted to show them to you just so you could have a look. Look at this. This is the iPod Shuffle. Amazing little device. You've got the little sort of controls on the front here. And then round the back, we've got the on-off switch and also the shuffle switch as well. Very, very cool little MP3 player. And I'm so glad that I've still got this. And then moving over, we have got this. Now, I believe these power books were referred to as Lombard. They're G3 400 megahertz power books, and it doesn't cur currently work, which I'm really sad about. It did work, and then it just, just stopped, and I haven't had it repaired. But let me just open this up. It's well used, and I purchased this second hand, but you can see inside the keyboard and it's just really nice to still own this I just wish it worked but this is one of my oldest bits of Apple equipment I do have uh, a couple of older Apple computers as well but they're in such bad condition that they don't really uh, sort of stay in the editing room or the studio so my plan is really one day to get this actually working again that'd be absolutely awesome so I hope you enjoyed that look at my Apple products. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there is an extended length version available to patrons. If you do want to show your support, it's entirely optional, but head on over to davidcryer.uk. There's a link in the video description and that'll take you over to my Patreon campaign. Thanks for watching this video on YouTube. If you've enjoyed it, hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.